The Denver Regional Council of Government's Distinguished Service Awards are brought to you by XL Energy. For his work with the Colorado Senior Lobby, Bob Bracker exemplifies what strong leadership can do for organizations that help older adults. As president of the lobby, Bob's organizational vision helped secure its future. An active member of the Dr. Cog Advisory Committee on Aging, he also participates in the Movers and Shakers in Aging program made up of leaders from the healthcare and education industries who meet to discuss strategies for providing care for older adults. He also serves as a board member for A Little Help, a community organization that supports older adults who live independently. Through his advocacy on behalf of older adults, Bob has helped create a future for the Denver region where residents can comfortably and safely age in place. Thank you for making our region a better place to live. Congratulations! As the City of Lakewood's principal traffic engineer, Matt Duncan knows firsthand how safe and efficient roads can improve quality of life for residents. And as an active longtime participant in Dr. Cog's Regional Transportation Operations Working Group, his expertise benefits the entire region. His passion for transportation improvement and focus on safety exemplify the Distinguished Service Award, which honors collaboration and embracing opportunity. A member of the newly formed Advanced Mobility Partnership Working Group, his contributions reach far beyond Lakewood, just as his work with multiple national committees influences traffic safety practices across the country. For his commitment to better safety and transportation and his advocacy for improving access to commute options, he has truly earned this recognition. Congratulations! Coloradans know how precious our water is. Ensuring all residents have access to safe, clean water is a serious responsibility. During his time at the City of Westminster, Stu Feinglass used a research-based strategy to establish effective water-saving practices that ultimately benefit the whole region. Working collaboratively with other city agencies, Stu pioneered an approach to developing water demand projects that allowed the city to predict water use based on patterns. The framework gives the City of Westminster the knowledge to better understand the effects of growth and development on water availability in the region, and serves as a model for other jurisdictions planning for development while safeguarding access to water for residents. Even retired, Stu finds ways to ensure the city's continued success managing its water supply by sharing strategies with local government planners and water utilities, and serving on advisory panels whose work has statewide impact. Thank you for your contributions and congratulations. During the nearly 20 years Janice Finch worked at the city and county of Denver, the state's population grew by more than a million people. The work to respond to the transportation challenges arising from that growth is ongoing. Through her contributions to Dr. Cog's Transportation Advisory Committee, Janice used her expertise to develop models benefiting the whole region. As a member of the Dr. Cog Transportation Improvement Program Policy Workgroup, Janice helped recommend, develop, and ultimately implement the dual funding allocation model, which was adopted for the 2020 to 2023 TIP. A savvy and eloquent advocate for the region, Janice worked closely with several Denver government administrations to champion solutions for developing the region's transportation system. Thank you for always putting the region first. By 2040, one in four Coloradans will be 65 or older. Finding ways to engage older adults ultimately shapes the character and values of our region. And while looking at trends and data helps us understand part of the story, it takes a personal approach to see the full picture to understand how to help older adults thrive. In her role with the Denver Office of Aging, Perla Gaylor tackles the challenges of supporting the region's older adults by combining data with a people-first approach. By analyzing the needs of older adults, she was able to create and deliver critical services to address major issues facing our aging population, working with other local agencies to develop integrated, comprehensive strategies. Her contributions extend far beyond Denver. 
Through her service on Dr. Cog's Advisory Committee on Aging, Perla's expertise produces solutions other member governments can emulate. A key architect of the Age Matters Needs Assessment, based on Dr. Cog's Boomer Bond, Perla's work for the region has resulted in meaningful improvements that help older adults live fulfilling, independent lives. Thank you for your service. Phil Greenwald brings nearly three decades of experience to transportation planning. In his role with the City of Longmont, Phil has taken his commitment to transportation safety to the next level. With a deep understanding of how commute options can improve quality of life, Phil advocates for choice in how we get around the region. By leveraging various funding opportunities, Phil finds creative ways to improve mobility with a focus on making all modes of travel safer for everyone using our roads and trails. As an active member of multiple regional transportation coalitions, boards, and commissions, Phil's service to the community spans far beyond the city he calls home. And as a former employee at Dr. Cog, he has long exemplified collaboration across regional boundaries. Congratulations, Phil. Historically, Dr. Cog has relied on public sector partnerships to acquire data for projects. But the organization's recent work with Evan Kirby of Diaxes represents a new future for public and private partnerships in the Denver region. When Dr. Cog was seeking a data set to better understand how to design sidewalks in the Denver region, the partnership with Diaxes allowed the organization to use data that would otherwise be cost prohibitive to collect, resulting in a greater understanding of what makes a sidewalk usable. Evan's willingness to commit private resources to bolster the data Dr. Cog uses in regional planning demonstrates both his and his organization's commitment to improving quality of life for residents, while leading to better outcomes that encourage other partners to contribute their resources toward the collective public good. Thank you, Evan, for your work improving life in the Denver region. In her role with the Veterans Affairs Eastern Colorado Healthcare System, Bridget Lee coordinates care services for more than 200 disabled veterans and their caregivers. Her work helps veterans explore options for their care. As the only veteran-directed care program coordinator for the 14-county area she serves, Bridget is a dependable resource for veterans who, thanks to her work, can choose how they receive care, maintaining their independence for as long as possible. As the bridge between veterans and the resources they need to thrive, Bridget has created a compassionate environment where veterans can efficiently access services. She also serves as an essential resource to the Dr. Cog Area Agency on Aging, working closely with case managers to advocate for the needs of veterans in the Denver region. Her job isn't easy. She's often pulled in many directions and the need for the work she does is never ending. But by remaining positive and committed, Bridget represents a beacon of hope for veterans. Thank you for your tireless advocacy.